Welcome to the Juniper Support Portal Mobile Application Overview. Do you need quick and seamless support for your Juniper products and services even when you are away from your computer? The Juniper Support Portal app is an important step in Juniper's support journey to enhance the customer experience and make it easier to do business with us. In this video, you will learn how the Juniper Support Portal app helps you keep track of the progress of your cases, view your RMAs or your assets, search the knowledge base or chat with live agents. The Juniper Support mobile app is designed to be intuitive and easy to navigate even when you are on the go. You will find that the mobile app has many of the same features found in the Juniper Support Portal. To access the Juniper Support Portal mobile application, you can download it from the App Store associated with your mobile device. Once you have it installed, enter your Juniper account login and password. During the login process, you will need to grant the mobile app certain permissions which are required to use this application. On the home page, you can see how many cases you have in process, how many are awaiting some action by you, how many are pending closure, and how many cases you have viewed recently within the mobile app. By clicking on the RMA tab, you can see similar information for your open RMAs. Also from this screen, you can view and access scheduled meetings and even create a case. If you need help, click the chat icon to start a chat with a Juniper customer care agent. The knowledge page provides troubleshooting and technical documents of different types. The default view shows the latest knowledge base articles, and you can click each channel to view that channel's articles. From the cases page, you can access all cases visible to you. The default view is set to all open cases. You can click the view dropdown to see the different list views you can use to sort your cases in different ways, such as by all closed cases, all open cases, and my closed cases. Note that you will see the different list views you have previously created in the browser-based Juniper support portal, and you are not able to create new list views within this application. By clicking on the filter option, you can add additional case filters, and then by selecting the sort option, you can define how your results are sorted. This is available on each list view page within the application. When you select a case, you will see the details associated with that case, including the ability to update some fields, to view or post a comment to the case from your mobile device. To post a comment to case, simply click on the post button and a text box will appear. Click the share button. From the RMAs page, you can access all the RMAs visible to you. The filter dropdown is set to all open RMAs. By selecting an RMA, you will see the details associated with that RMA, including the ability to ask a question that will be posted and sent to our customer care team. To ask a question, click on the Ask a Question tab and then click on the Post button and a text box will appear. Click the Share button. Your assets and service contracts are available under the More menu option. When you select the Assets page, you will see all of the assets visible to you. The filter drop-down is set to all assets shipped in the last year. You can click the List View drop-down to filter your assets list view in different ways, such as by All Assets, All Assets Shipped in the Last Year, or even assets that have been announced EOL. well. When you click on an asset, the details for that asset will be shown. The service contracts page shows the service contracts associated with your account. Here too, there are different list view options that can filter your contracts list view in different ways. When you click on a service contract, the details for that service contract will be shown. There is a global search option, which is available on all pages. It allows you to search the support portal for a keyword. Simply type the keyword or words in the search bar and click the magnifying glass to see any matching results. The notifications icon displays the push notifications that have been triggered based upon your settings in your push notification settings. Under the user menu, the push notifications page allows you to activate or deactivate all push notifications from the Juniper Support Portal mobile app. You can also enable or disable specific notifications for cases. Or by clicking on the RMA tab, you can enable or disable specific notifications for RMAs. Also under the user menu is your user profile, which displays your profile details registered with Juniper, such as your email address and phone number. The about page and the privacy policy page are available under the user menu. The About page explains the purpose of the Juniper Support Portal mobile app and, when applicable, information on the latest updates to the app. 
The Privacy Policy page contains key information about required app permissions and provides links to Juniper's privacy notice, legal notices, and the DMCA policy. Next under the User menu are the Feedback section and the Logout option. The Feedback section allows you to share feedback about the Juniper Support Portal application that will go directly to our Juniper Support Portal application team. The Juniper Support Portal mobile app is designed to enhance your support experience so that you can find all your required information quickly and easily using your mobile device when you can't be at your computer. We are excited about this new opportunity to better collaborate and to enhance the Juniper customer support experience with this new extension of the Juniper Support Portal. For more information on these topics, visit the Juniper Support Portal training and information page. We're excited to have you join us on our support journey.